Domain of functions. We can use the domain of the library of functions in order to determine and justify the domain of some other functions. In a function like g of y equals negative 2 times y, this looks like it's based on the identity function, so its domain would match negative infinity to infinity. If h of z equals the square root of z plus 2, then I would need to think about the domain of the square root function. The square root function couldn't handle any negative numbers under the square root symbol, so anything under a square root symbol must be greater than or equal to zero. In this case, z plus 2 is greater than or equal to zero. Solving for z in this basic inequality would give me a domain of negative 2 included up to infinity. If b of k equals 1 over 4k minus 1, then I would need to think about the reciprocal function. 0 was left out of the domain for the reciprocal function because we can't divide by 0. So anything in the denominator is not allowed to be 0. If 4k minus 1 is not 0, then 4k is not 1, and k is not 1 over 4. You can now justify the domain of a function based on 1 in our library of functions.